Hello, everyone. I'm Anthony Alfredo, and welcome to this episode of Who's Next? Today, we're going up to Kunkeltown, Pennsylvania, where we find 11-year-old quarter midget driver, Gunnar Pio. How are you doing this evening, Gunnar? Good. How are you, Anthony? I'm doing well, thanks, bud. First off, where did you get the cool name Gunner? I got it from my dad. He he watched an NFL player, which he had a son named Gunner. At first, my grandmother didn't like the name, but now she says I'm a real Gunner. That's awesome, man. How old were you when you started racing? I was five when I started racing at the Lehigh Valley Quarter Midget Association at Pocono Raceway. I start, And that was on dirt. That's really cool. A lot of guys are coming from the dirt background and a lot of guys seem to start racing younger and younger. I myself was racing rental carts at uh, about that age. So for the viewers that may not know, can you tell them what a quarter midget is? A quarter midget is a one four scale of a midget and you can race them from five to 16 years old and they race and they use Honda and Briggs motors in them. Well, it sounds like you know a lot about your car, which makes sense because success came early for you and you actually won your first USAC title at the age of seven. So which class was that exactly that you won in? I won that I won that USAC national championship at seven years old in junior animal at Eldora. It was came down to the last race and I had to finish top three or higher to win. That's awesome. It's always exciting when it comes down to the wire like that. And when you pull through and what I like to say, clutch up. It's uh, That's what uh, real race winners and champions can do. I understand you race on both dirt and pavement, as you mentioned. Do you have a preference of the two? I get this. I get asked this question a lot. I love both of them. I love pavement for the speed and dirt for wheeling the car. That's a great way to, to break up the difference there. And let's get right into your 2021 season where you won eight USAC national titles in four different classes i didn't even know that was possible but i see one on dirt and pavement in the light 160 senior animal light world formula and the formula mod of the eight titles which one was the hardest to win do you think the one that was the hardest to win was lost um i mean mod world formula it came down to the last race in las vegas i did finish top three or higher to win it that's really cool. A lot of a lot of last race battles, it seems, for you. You've been able to pull through and get the championship. That's pretty great. If you had to pick one race this year specifically that stands out above the rest, which race would that be? That race would be Indianapolis Dirt, um, World Formula A Main. It, we've tried to win at Indy many years, but we finally came home with the championship bricks this year. That's awesome. There's nothing like racing at a historical venue like Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's just so notorious. Which quarter midget class is your favorite, Connor? Um, my favorite on dirt is Light World Formula. My favorite on pavement is Light 160. Perfect. Well, do you have a favorite track? My favorite track is NTQMA um, in Salisbury, North Carolina. Very fast track. If you can win there, you can win anywhere, and the competition there is very good. That sounds awesome. Well, you just got back from the USAC Quarter Midget Banquet in Indy. Can you share with us what that was like? It's really awesome going there every year. You get to see your friends. You get to go for the big USAC Banquet. Um, it was very cool this year because we got to, I accepted eight national championships. Wow. So how many trips did you make on the red carpet then? I only really made two because one for the Quarter Midget Banquet and one for the um, big banquet. Well, with all those championships, it might have been easier if they just put a chair on stage for you and you could stay up there. You <laughs> wrote your own page in the history books, winning eight titles in one year. Has it really sunk in yet, what you've been able to accomplish? It really sunk in when Butch Lamb announced me up with after he announced all my eight national championships. It really sunk in what me and my team did this year. That's special. We want to learn a little bit more about you off the track. So what is your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in school is ELA, and I have a very nice teacher. Her name is Miss McMaster, and she's just a really good teacher. That's great. What do your friends and family think about your accomplishments at such a young age? Um, at first, like a couple of years ago, they didn't really um, understand it, but after what I did this year, they really started understanding it and started supporting me. Right, there's nothing better than that. I know exactly what it's like when uh, – it's kind of confusing for some people to understand. You're trying to explain it. And then once you start having success, it just seems to be a little bit easier and uh, definitely helps with the credibility, of course. 
We're going to play a little game called Rapid Fire. I'm going to ask you five non-racing questions in 30 seconds. Are you ready to play? Yep. What is your favorite food? Steak. Favorite sport side of racing? Hockey and lacrosse. Favorite movie? Talladega Nights. Favorite band? Imagine Dragons. Favorite superhero? Batman. Wow, we got, we got a lot in common here, Gunnar. I, I, those are excellent <laughs> answers. What do you do when you're not racing? I play a lot of eye racing, a lot of eye racing. Um, I also play a lot of lacrosse for a travel team. Awesome. Sounds like you're a busy guy. Well, 2021 and the to the 2022 season is already off to a great start. You won the Buckeye Ohio Winter Nationals in five classes, even though you moved up to the heavy class for the first time. You won four heat races out of five total and then won all five feature races in the Heavy Honda, Heavy World, Unrestricted Animal, Heavy 160, and Heavy Mod. Man, that's, that took the breath out of me there, all those wins. Did you expect to be that dominating in your first outing in the heavy classes? We really didn't. We were just trying to get um, uh, ready for the next year's season, just trying to get the cars dialed in so we could do really good next season. Well, it sounds like it was working out for you there. What are your plans for 2022 besides just winning? My plans are to help my brother and my sister win their first national championships and start running some big cars. It sounds like you got a great family of racing. Do you have any sponsors you'd like to thank? I'd like to thank um, Curtis Pepe and Aaron Bowes at Storm Chassis, Jerry Coons at Impact Racing, um, Oasis Car Wash, and Hates Meat Market. Well, where can the fans keep up with you? Um, Gunner, Gunner Peel Racing on Instagram and Facebook. Perfect. Well, there you have it, folks. 11-year-old Gunner Peel. He's already making history at the age of 11. Can't wait to see where this young man will be in the next five years. That's it for this episode. Make sure you tune in next month to find out who's next. I'm Anthony Alfredo. Now back to the bullring.